What's up YouTube, Kyra back up in here with another video and today we have yet another streetwear brands you should know about. This is basically to show you guys PR that I've been receiving over the past couple of weeks of course. I get sent a lot of clothes and that is not to be boastful. A lot of my friends make amazing product and this video segment is usually utilized to showcase that product that really give them their flowers and a platform to just really highlight some of the amazing creations that have been sent my way and also that i feel like you guys should be aware of as well it's just to be informative so i hope you guys get a lot of information out of this get put onto some amazing brands let's get straight into this video so before we get straight into this video i just i always like to leverage these streetwear brands you should know about videos to talk to you guys about the live shows that i be that i do on whatnot if you guys are unfamiliar with whatnot it is a live auction application it's amazing it's probably one of the favorite apps that i've ever worked with basically i go on these live shows basically i stream off of these live shows i schedule them the next one i'm going to be doing is on june 28th at 7 p.m so make sure to go bookmark my live show all of the details of how to do that will be on the screen of course and listed down in the description box below so that you guys can go bookmark the show to make sure you don't miss it but basically what i do on there is i let go of a ton of product as a stylist and as a creator i obviously accumulate a ton of clothes so my way of giving back to you guys and giving back to the community is to get rid of these clothes for an amazing price point some all everything that i put up on there starts at a dollar so you guys could get some extreme steals and deals all the time like i always let gems go for mad cheap uh so it's a perfect time to really get your wardrobe started and uh have some key pieces to really take that summer outfit to the next level so definitely go tap into the show are some of the favorite pieces of content that I do. I love streaming, uh, so I love working with whatnot. So some of the things that I'm gonna be having on this show, you guys are gonna be blown away. I'm just gonna show you a few. So we have these Dior padded slippers. These I got while I was in London. They're just a bit too tiny for me. I had my fun with them, but I feel like someone else deserves them. And I'm, I'm coming correct. These are gonna be for a dollar. They're gonna start at a dollar. So whatever and anyone decides to take them at, that's up to you guys. So starting at a dollar, that's gonna be exciting. Also got this cost bag, also a dollar starting at exactly crazy piece this is a navy one i know how crazy you guys go for these cost bags so this is also going to be exciting and last but not least got some balenciaga for your nada bang also starting at a dollar so you guys clearly see it's going to be a banger show this is the largest whatnot live show i've ever done the most amount of product i really did a huge wardrobe clear out and i just want to really like feed the streets let you guys have some amazing gems to start off your wardrobes for the summer so it's going to be an amazing one uh lots of like hidden giveaways i like letting you guys know more about the giveaways like in the actual show because it's kind of a community of itself so if you guys are locked into the show there's definitely going to be some giveaways and some just steals in general so make sure to go tap into those can't wait to see you guys there june 28th at 7 p.m eastern time can't wait to see you guys there links and everything will be in the, in the description and also on the screen peace all right so the first pack that we have first brand that we're going to showcase is the none other than Reiji mia's ore nyc probably one of my favorite emerging brands ever because like we just have so much history i've done a lot of collaborations in the past with ray if you guys didn't know uh, we've known each other since like way 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 back so it's just cool to see all the product that he's been developing under this new division label that he has he was kind enough to send me some new or a product so we'll get straight into that right now he sent me these kind of wide cut flared denims they have a certain like cyber-esque vibe to them i don't know why i feel that way but they're just very beautifully designed nice hardware on them custom hardware good 30 denim got these in a size 32 got the tag work right here boom also tag work boom so yeah what i mean by cyber is just like these nice cuts and then also just these like little poke out eyelets all over the pant kind of make it more spacey and just like techy i don't know why it makes it feel that way but cut is just something that's so flattering and like flatters my proportions perfectly it's kind of weird ray and i kind of have like the same build it's it's very very strange so like everything that fits him normally i know will fit me pretty well so that just goes to show like i really love everything that he designs because i don't know if he makes it intentional to fit him great but it just matches very well with my proportions so i'm always happy whenever he designs a good pant because i know it's gonna fit me great so these pants are amazing super excited with them definitely go check them out if they're 
still available. But we're, what we're all here for is what Ray and Ore is known for, the footwear. So let's get straight into that. First pair I got here, which one is this gonna be? Perfect, I'm happy to start off with these. These are, this is the Morgan Lace Up Derby, one of, oh, oh things are flying left and right. One of Ray's like, Pride and Joys, literally a piece that a lot of people know Ray for and the whole brand. Love that they do like a whole like brand breakdown of what the brand is about now. Very informative. The leather smell is immediate. As soon as you open the packaging, you could smell that right away. Down right here, Vibram Bat. Vibram or Vibram, whatever you want to say, that brandening in there so you know it's official tissue. Dust bag, boom, also official. The new branding with the shiny little holographic. Come on now. I'm going to crack into these. If you guys want me to do an updated boots video, I need a lot of likes on this video. We have to break, see if we could do 1100 likes on this video and I'll do an updated boots collection video because I know you guys love that. So if you get 1100 likes on this video, I'll definitely I'll definitely do an updated boots collection because there's a certain amount of shoes and boots that I just got added that I feel like really suit my personal style nowadays. And a lot of people have questions about both Ray's or Ray derbies and boots and also Owen's boots from Somar. I'll definitely answer all those questions if we hit that little milestone, that little threshold. So yeah, these are the Morgan boots. Super clean, super elevated, very just up there in terms of like elevating your style. I feel like starting with a place like Derby's or Boots is just getting into that next level of fashion and just maturing with your style in general. And I think this is a perfect item to do so. Also not that much of an investment in terms of what the prices of Boots and Derby's can be. So uh, I always tell people to either start with Doc Martens if they are very hesitant, but if you have the bandwidth to invest a bit more, I would say start with these because you will not uh, uh, be disappointed at all because the designer price point equivalent of what this would be would be in the thousands of dollars and you're paying half that maybe even less so yeah definitely worth it gonna be a summertime staple for sure for me i love the smooth leather it makes it a lot more luxurious i find compared to the tumbled iterations he's made in the past so really love this the shape is also very updated it's a lot more wide and it's sick it's fire <laughs> all right so this next one we got this is the bot lace up derby. Now this one is slightly different. I believe this one is gonna be limited to a hundred pieces and only available in Japan. If I stand correctly, I should say. Uh, but yeah, this beautiful like deep forest green and this pen leather. Um, the details that Ray told me about this leather is like one of the highest quality focused designer brands. It shares the exact same leather as this one. That's exactly where they got it from. So I'm, I'm not gonna say obviously because I'm not supposed to, but uh, think of the one of the most quality and material focused brands you could think of that we love a lot on this channel. They share the same leather for this shoe. So you just know the quality on this is insane. Like so, 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 so good. Um, and it's just a beautiful hue, not something that you see every day. Uh, definitely gonna stand out amongst the rest of the shoe in your wardrobe and I've always been a fan of patent leather shoes I don't know why they just are very resilient uh, they sh like they're just shiny I feel like humans are naturally attracted to shiny things and got the fresh um, little like plastic seal over the sole let me just take that off just to show you guys what it's like it's so satisfying Sheesh. super fresh 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 soles it's just a beautiful shape perfect shoe super excited for these these are going to be insane all right you guys so next up we got these pieces from Skeena one of my favorite emerging brands out of Montreal directly because it's one of my homies brands John so shout out to John I really appreciate him always blessing me whenever he has a new collection that he's about to release so always very grateful for him to send pieces my way and you guys have been showing mad love to John so like just keep on showing the boy love the new collection should be out sometime soon hopefully by the time when I drop this video uh, so you guys can go check it out and they won't sell out this time around because there's these coveted ass sweatpants that he always drops and people always go crazy for them but he has some new new in there as well that is even more exciting so i went with these shorts that he just released these are so sick they kind of like radiate heavy kiko kastaranoff vibes i uh, went in the largest size possible for these because i just love my shorts super oversized and long they just flatter my proportions best and the nicest thing with this is that it's like this two-tone of 
material. So it kind of has this uh, nubuck-esque material with these tassels attached at the end. And then this is more like a cotton twill. And then you could zip this part off if you don't want the tassel extension. So that kind of just shows you how that's done. I don't really want to zip it all the way off because I like it attached, but a very, very cool design work done with these. It's very versatile. You have multiple ways of wearing it. You could just leave them loose, um, halfway undone, all the way off, like whatever you want to do, you could do. <laughs> so yeah, Skeena is the brand. Shout out to John. These are insane, insane shorts. I love the length on them too. Like I said, the long, the long shorts are definitely in this summer and just suit me very well. So I'm really excited to style these. I think I'm going to bring these to Paris for Fashion Week. Um, my luck style in them because I think they're going to be a very sick addition to some outfits out there. So let's get into the rest of the Skeena stuff. All right. So we got two pieces, both very similar because they're the exact same thing. This is the famous wavy sweatpants by Skeena. They have this feature of like this panel that shows this wavy kind of cutout on the sweatpants and it's featured again closer to the knee. It has a raw released hem and this is a lighter heather gray that he dropped originally dropped a darker heather gray that's in front of me because i used those to wear today obviously uh so the lighter heather gray is just a bit less like bold in terms of like the hue so this just gives another variety of a tone that you could wear skin on the tag once again uh and you can see that wavy feature on the back here once again so amazing beautiful wide cut sweatpants you really can't go wrong with these probably my most complimented sweatpants across all of my friends that wear them everyone's just always in awe whenever uh they see these moving around in the street they're just very bold without doing too much in terms of design which is really cool so i'm a big fan of that <laughs> So the next one, you guys know me with yellow. This is the banana yellow iteration of the same sweatpants. Just a powdery yellow hue, perfect for the boy because you guys know it's Yellow Gang over here. If you guys are old official Tishel memories, you guys know about the Yellow Gang. So that's how it goes. Beautiful, beautiful color. That same wide cut, like I said before. And I didn't touch on this before, but they have an amazing French Terry that just wears so, so nicely. The more and more you wash it, it just gets better and better. I got these in a size large. I believe I got the Heather, the light Heather grays and the XL, both because I just wanted them super oversized. And if you tie any of these sweatpants, you're going to be fine. It really depends on how you want them to fit. I can wear anywhere between a medium and an XL. That's just me. It depends on how you really want them to fall on you. If you want to sag them, if you don't want to sag them, there's a lot of things. So I now with how they're currently made, I float between a large and an XL and I'm a size 32, but I could easily wear a medium guaranteed. So up to you guys. <laughs> Next item we got here is th this belt by Vujade. I got this sent in a while ago and I've been waiting to do this video and stack up some items for this video. This is the first thing that was the accumulation of items for this video. So I haven't opened this since I got it, which is very hard for me to have done because I know the quality of this belt is so sick. Probably gonna put this on today because I need a belt for the shorts I'm wearing. Uh, but this leather man, now to have met Ken in real life and to put a face in real life to the design language that he has and everything and the work ethic that he has, just very impressed with everything that comes out of Vujade. Really, really love everything that the team does and they're just like very solid group of people. So grateful for them always looking out and sending me product. This light gray, very light gray belt, very reminiscent reminiscent in terms of the shape of some of your favorite like Hermes belts or any designer belt you could think of. I could just tell that the patina of this is going to be beautiful. I love how it's stamped with the, the exact season of which the Vujade collection was made. But yeah, the, the leather quality is just incredible, like very similar to any designer belts you could ever own. Plenty of size selection in case it doesn't fit you exactly the way you want. I'm going to put this on for the rest of the video because I actually need a belt for tonight. So it works out in my favor. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but it works out for me. I'm gonna pop this. Oh, bang. Yep, that's the belt for tonight. Over. It's so nice. Wow, amazing. I'm so happy with it. And it doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop there. We got some pants. And the front of these pants is crazy. Look at these, bro. I was so dead while fit. like at this point in the video, I was like losing my brain shut off and I didn't even talk about what the brand was 
of these pants. Uh, I don't know what happened, but anyway, these are the Vujade staff exclusive pants. These are going to be only released to staff or friends and family, etc. Uh, Ken was kind enough to give these to me when I was in Japan. Uh, so I'm showing it to you guys now. Really great pair of pants, super tactical. You could take off the belt a little utilitarian part of it. Um, they're amazing. They're incredible. Uh, from what I know, the only, this is going to be the one reserved for the staff. And then I think he's going to be dropping one in the all canvas iteration for public release. So very fortunate to have one. Only Meg and I have a pair and then of course, a couple of the staff members as well. So very grateful. Shout out to Ken and Bujade. Super sick. Look how technical these are. And these are hard. I'm going to have to keep these for like a... I could picture like Sky and these or like even my boy Jaden. Sometimes I see pieces and like they're styling immediately. I'm like, bro, these are these would be so fire. Or like you put something in the pocket, like protruding out. Like, clothes are so sick for certain purposes sometimes, dude. It's just like, and you could zip these off and turn them into shorts. Like really good fit. Really, really, really good fit. I'm happy with these. These are a solid pair of pants, dude. Nice like singular pocket. I don't know what you'd put in there. Interesting pocket. <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of these though. These are really, really sick. Next, next piece. All right, so these next two, you guys know, another familiar member on the streetwear brands you should know about videos because I love the product that they make so much. Probably one of the highest qualities in terms of uh, knitwear and just French terry and embroidery that I've ever seen out of an emerging brand. And that is the guys over at Samuel Zaleg. Come on, dude. Every time they send some new product my way, I'm just blown away by the level of quality they're able to do with embroideries. Like, just look at that chain stitch, the detail in this madam right here. Continue with the chain stitch and then you go onto the shoulder. Another madam right there. You go onto the back with it. You got this going. It's just so good, dude. Like. <laughs> All right, so moving in to the next piece, this is probably my, the piece I was most excited of between the two that they were sending me, even though actually both satisfy both parts of my wardrobe. Like you guys see always this lighter side, but there's a darker side on the other portion of my room. Both of the pieces satisfy both of the style directions that I like to do. So this one would be on the light side. So let's zip this up. This is just like a perfect, like it's got the three quarters uh, zip and it's just, the camera doesn't even do this justice, bro. There's just like so many details. Like you got, you got this guy, you got these like small little chain stitch fonts of people's names. And what else you got over here? You got some, looks like you got some chefs down the middle. And then you go over here onto the collar in the back or Order up you go into the back the back joint this whole deli scene all embroidered what like no i don't think you guys are actually getting this like look at that bro all the fruits and the vegetables like person like knit, kicked up smoking a little ciggy like so much detail like so 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 much samuel zaleg always kills it amazing 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 i think the only thing that's not embroidered is this sz deli on the back which is fine <laughs> everything else is just top tier that's like it makes total sense big mike 1997 who is that i have no idea but what i do know is that that is a fire a fire fire sweater i'm gonna be wearing that all of my summer nights i'm ex like so stoked for that all right, so this one right here, we got this tea from Fuji Loft. This is my friend Sam's brand. Amazing stuff, amazing person. Gonna miss him dearly because he's moving from, well, he moved from Montreal. So hope to see you soon. Everyone, let me know if you should see Kyron out in Dubai in January because I need to make that happen uh, so I could go link up with Sam. We're gonna make some crazy content out there. Me, Meg, and Sam is going down. It's gonna be fine. But yeah, and he, all of that to say, Fuji Loft, it's 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 the conglomerate is what we rep and you do the home furnishings over here but what's sick this is like so like bruh this is a fire tea i don't know why i've never seen a tea like this before but he threw the wasili on the back of the put the wasili on the back of the oh 
what are you are you serious this is so hard it's like it's perfect that it's on the back because as a front graphic this is kind of intense like why do you have a chair on the front of your tee but the back it's like a little like you walk past like oh he gets it you know he do he do be into mid-century furniture and whatnot you know so i think it is a sick graphic really well designed great graphic work nice that it's cream and just a nice little simple tee great for the summer i'll probably shorten it a bit because i wanted it to be a bit wider but it is a bit long for me so i might bring it to the tailor but that doesn't take away from this shirt i love the graphic it's amazing good job sam you killed it on to the next item. Alrighty, so we got these jorts in, all right? Jorts have been a hot commod this summer. People are feeling the jorts. My explore page is nothing but jorts, all right? Left, right, and center. So all that to say, we got a, we got a pair of jorts in, okay? Company sent me these right here. This is by Esoteric, really nice pair of jorts. They were kind to send me. I have this little 17 distressed screen printing that goes on in the front. And I like how the wash is slightly different. It looks like it started off as a blue, but it turned into this like dirty indigo that is more in the gray side of things. I just like how unique the wash is. Great length to the joint as well. I like when it's far past my knee and a lot wider in, in the fit. So yeah, just very, very sick. Love the overall fit, feel, and hue to these jorts. Not your typical pair. So good to break it up from the average, just like light wash blue. So yeah, really cool pair of jorts. Check them out if you haven't already. Bang. Okay, so I'm not even gonna begin to try and pronounce this, but this knit right here has been a great one to just layer in the summer. It's not too, too heavy and it's like perfectly cropped and the knit isn't so dense, so it feels very airy. Great summertime knit. This is exactly what you want out of a summer layer. And it kind of gives you that more of that grungy vibe just because of it being a black knit and the fit of it and all. So I like this, even if it starts to get nicked and like have some tears or whatever, I think it'll be a great option for the, for the summer. So yeah, great piece. Not really much to say. It's a, literally a knit sweater that's super plain, but with the try on clips, you'll see how well it fits bars. Bang. All right, so we got some pieces from the boy Tommy over at Simply Complicated. When I was in Japan, he was kind enough to gift me some products that I was really fond of. These are two pair of well-made socks. I didn't even want to take them out of the package just because of like, look how beautifully like branded they are. They're made in Japan, size small. So I hope my tiny foot could fit though. I think they could, but yeah, they kind of give like jound vibes and I don't want that to take away from his own design practice, but I love the, um, just the simplicity of it. And the jound socks that I own were probably some of the nicest socks that I owned. I got rid of them because I just had them for too long and you have to like replace socks after a while. Um, but yeah, beautiful simple yet not so complicated socks definitely go check them out if you have it already and he also sent me a pair of jeans these kind of fit I wish they were a tad larger but they still do fit me like they fit but I just wish they were a bit baggier because I'm just so like insane with how wide I like my pants to be right now it's kind of like obnoxious but the wash of these are so sick because I don't have like this light, light gray, not looking like a washed out black. This is more of like a true washed gray, I would say. Great wash, fantastic wash. I love that his tab is yellow as well. As you guys know, yellow is my favorite color. So that's a great accent. The natural leather patch in the back for the Simply Complicated, great. This is a size three, I'm a size 32, so you could kind of use that for reference. Um, if you're between a 32, 33, maybe even 34, get a size four, I would say. But yeah, great pair of pants. If you're looking into wide denim, definitely give them a shout because there's not too many places that I recommend for wide denim, but this is a great option for you. So go check them out if you haven't already. Here we have a piece by Bleeding Indigo. They were kind enough to hit me up because they said, hey, we're releasing these sweatpants. Would you like to indulge? And I said, let me indulge in that. S'il vous plaît. Very nice pair of French Terry sweats. You guys know I have a million of these and that's just because this is what I'm living in when there's Editor Kai. You know, Editor Kai or going to the grocery store Kai or just having to do whatever I gotta do quick outside. This is what I'm rocking. Normally just a black, wide cut or flared French Terry sweat. Like that's my favorite. Now my favorite so far 
have to be the Skeena pair, my Vujade pair, this, and I think I have a Spencer Badu pair too. There's a lot of them, bro. There's a lot of black, black sweatpants. So I might have to trim down quite a few just cause maybe it's getting a little too crazy. I have to maybe do a little battle and pick out which one would be my favorite out of them all. And then just have one or two in the rotation. This is kind of cool though. It has this invisible pocket. I love those invisible zippers. I find them to be such a great design detail. It's kind of this like darting at the knee that gives it a great shape. Wide flare and these boxer pockets that looks kind of like a guy wearing a hood sideways. So yeah, there you go. Bleeding indigo flared sweatpants in this black, but it's kind of like a charcoaly black, not a jet jet black, which is nice. A nice breakup from the all black situation. So check these out if you haven't already. I'm gonna go on to the next brand. All right, next brand is Haven Court. Here we have it. This is Haven Court. So shout out to the team over at Haven Court. Really appreciate them. They're always doing a great vibe over there. Um, all the YouTube brands are just heat and I've never owned a denim jacket that was referenced from the Type 2. I believe this is based off the Type 2. Um, really nice, cool design details. Great washed gray. Cannot go wrong with a piece I like this. And also the back, this little detail with the buckle. I have a lot of denim jackets right now though. That's probably something else that I have to condense down. <sighs> Love them too much. Love them too much. Side note, Keezy, this is such a peep game situation. I'm so happy he sent it in. Well, first of all, yeah, this is just the tag for the piece, but he used, these are what people call laundry bags, okay? I don't know if this is like, some people don't notice, but I'm just gonna give you guys some free game real quick. These save your life, okay? If you have any delicate item that you're scared to wash or maybe it has like an insane piece of hardware, like let's say you have a Chrome Hearts hoodie and it has that little hardware dagger thing and you're worried of it banging around in a washer machine, get yourself a laundry bag. You go on Amazon. I'll have them linked in the description box below so you guys could check out exactly what I'm talking about. But I don't know if Keezy sells them or whatever. I like that he just used them as packaging for the denim, but I'm gonna get into that a bit more. Learning how to wash your clothes properly is so important because then it's gonna last longer. A lot of people just destroy their clothes in a wash and they don't know what to do, but life hack and some free game definitely get you get you some laundry bags. They save your life. I use these all the time. Like I'm literally running laundry right now. So using them as we speak. Here we got a pair of salvage painter jeans in a size 34. He told me that I'd probably want to size up for the type of fit that uh, I'm going for, I'm assuming. So Got these painters, painters all over. Cool little vibe. I feel like I'm painting a little house. Jump at the house, jump at the house. Yeah. Solid pair of little jeans. Got the little buckle right here. Cool details, Haven Court private stock. And his, the quality of his denim is just getting better and better, bro. Like really impressive always. Um, gotta get the money shot. Perfect. The last Haven Court piece we got is this logo hoodie, I want to say, is what it looks like. Sheesh, it's a heavyweight hoodie, dude. Damn, damn, this is heavy. Good quality, bro. This is like a double layered situation, really deep hood. Got a little button on there. This is probably the top. This, bro, people don't know what my strange addiction is. It's black hoodies, bro. I swear I have way, way too many and I can never have enough. If I had a closet, it would be just filled with these, bro. I swear to you. I wish it was like fall or spring right now because I'd just be like cozied up having this on, just cranking away, editing. But this is probably my favorite piece so far from the or, or from the from the Haven Court pack. This is sick. Very impressive in terms of the weight, how large the hood is. I love that little button closure situation. Very simple branding, nothing too much going on. Fire piece. 10 on 10. You don't have to do anything more than that. On to the next brand. All right, you guys, we going, we going, we going. This is some clothes from Ojadov Oscar O-Files. We got some very intense, almost like military-esque packaging, which is really cool. Kind of goes like hand in hand with the branding of his clothing company. So really cool branding, really cool packaging. Uh, we're gonna get into these. I believe these are the wrinkled nylon trousers. So let's get into these. Crack these open. 
Yep, exactly what these are. Wrinkled nylon trousers. These are so sick. I love a good nylon baggy pant. This features kind of this nice little ribbed strap at the bottom so you could adjust the fit if you don't want them to be so wide legged. I'll bring them in a bit. Um, the back, I love this kind of like back um, embroidery where the pocket would be, kind of similar to a pair of jeans, but on nylon pants, which is really cool. And then you have this O Files, where is that? O Files branding right there at the front. So yeah, these are insane. I love good pair of nylon crinkled pants. I'm definitely gonna wear these a lot in like the fall or winter, just cause in the summer, nylon pants are a little crazy. I'd hot take, I'd much rather wear leather pants at night than nylon pants at night in the summertime. I don't know what it is, but it's just that has that weird, that weird sticking to your leg feeling that I don't enjoy. Whereas some of the leather pants that I have either have a lining or the quality, the, the suede of the leather is so uh, soft that it kind of creates like a barrier between your leg and that sticky feeling. So yeah, you're gonna have to wait to break out these amazing pants. It's gonna be so annoying to have to wait to wear these, but it's gonna be well worth it when I do. Next piece, this is just a washed out black zip hoodie from Old Files. A lot of people ask me for alternatives of the collab I did with Ray years back it feels like maybe like two years back this is a great alternative it's not full zip but it's a great similar hue to the one that i made and yeah you just really can't go wrong with these like acid washed vintage looking black zippities bro like one of my favorite items of clothing i i could ever tell someone to add to their wardrobe it just feels very well lived in and adds a lot of character to an outfit yeah great piece Great piece. These two I was really excited about just because I'm a very big fan of thermals. I find that's something that I was made aware of from younger is that thermals are a great addition to any type of outfit. I grew up like on Ralph Lauren ones, Tommy Hilfiger ones, but now we're getting to explore some other more modern brands. And this is from Profiles. Love the wash black feature, similar and reminiscent to the hoodie I just showed you guys. But yeah, great piece. This with some shorts you could probably get away with in the summer, but also once again, probably more of a spring or fall type of piece. Keeps you composed and nice while you wearing it. And the last piece here, we have this darker. Yeah, it's a darker version. This is like a blacker black. The other one's more of like a charcoal black. This is like a true black. So yeah, this is probably another great option. It's just like a rotation of thermals for you to wear when you just want something simple, plain, but really elevated, elevated basics. This is exactly what you could be on. I think another brand that makes a good one of these is Strawberry Gems, like Kai Bentley's brand. Another great option. I like thermals a lot. I find they're very classy in some type of weird way. So like you imagine this, you have a nice little watch, boom. Simple jeans, some Margiela replicas, you know. Calm, camate, nothing too crazy, you know? You just keep those pushing, it. you're good. You I have to think about nothing. All right, so this was a hat that I was wearing religiously while I was in Japan and I got so many questions on it. This is a hat by Olivian, uh, also another creator on Instagram. Uh, so shout out to the boy for sending this over to me. I just love how sinister the logo is. It's very like metal reminiscent uh, and, a hat, and it says Olivian, Olivian gothic ass font and the hand distressing is just so sick as well i love that it's brown kind of gives you this like filthy yet meaningful design approach also very rem reminiscent of balenciaga's work on some of the hats that they've done love the two panel effect right here it's like layered everything's just very intentional with this hat which is really cool so i've been having a great time wearing it this is the brand if you guys don't know how i was pronouncing it there you go. And yeah, great hat. Can't really go wrong at all with this. I bet I was, this is an example of people that just make amazing product and I threw it on, I was wearing it day after day in Japan. Like I brought it cause I was like, this is an impressive ass hat. I'm gonna wear it often. So really, really great. Love what the emerging, emerging brands are doing right now. This is exactly why I do these videos is just to discover amazing products and stuff that makes me go wow. This was a brand called 100 and that's written like this. They're actually carried on Essence and they were kind enough to send me a nice little package. These cargos were just released and they asked me if I wanted a pair. I said, hell yeah, so why not? So yeah, so here we have these wide-legged 100 3D pocket cargo pants. I love a good 3D pocket. Another feature that I just really enjoy on clothing. I don't know why I'm a sucker for 
3D pockets, but something that I really enjoy. I made a pair of cargos with Ore back in the day. They also featured 3D pockets and a D-ring. So these are very much me in a pant a couple of years ago. So yeah, very interesting. If you guys are interested, you could definitely check out more that they have because they make a lot more clothes than just the pair of pants I'm wearing. All right, that I'm showcasing. That center dart, also very interesting just stops kind of a little bit further up. But yeah, great composition. A lot of things made, yeah, made with Italian fabrics. Really good fabric choice on this one. And yeah, can't complain at all. Very luxurious. Makes sense why they're carried on Essence. Just a fantastic pair of black cargos. You can't go wrong with something like this. I know I say that a million times, but it is the truth. On to the next brand. All right, so here we have a brand that was put on to me by the boy Polo. If you guys don't know Polo, he also is a content creator, makes fantastic videos covering uh, more avant-garde fashion in Japan. I didn't have enough time to go and meet out with him when I was there because I was feeling a bit under the weather on one of the days when I was supposed to meet with the boy Polo, but hopefully when I go back to Japan, be able to make that happen. But he actually works with like, I believe an agency of sorts and he was doing PR for this company. He asked me if I wanted to um, receive any of the product and I was like, hell yeah, why not? Perfect for videos like this so that you guys get to see kind of what new brands are doing in the market space so let me show it to you guys right now and this is the brand nilaments i don't know how to pronounce that correctly but nil mints nil mints i don't know i'm probably butchering the hell out of that but it's a tech forward brand lots of nylon lots of cuts very montreal so yeah oh yeah these shorts are sick shorts are sick these shorts are so fire. What? Yeah, these are hard, dude. Really, really cool. Technical shorts. Very big pocket on the side. Kind of like just button it. So many details. Hidden zipper. You could like even adjust it in because that's, that's something I'm really happy with because I got them obviously larger so that the inseam was a bit longer because they're a pretty short short. Super fire, dude. Yeah, these are way too big in the waist, but I'm happy that there's the waist adjusters so I could actually like, that's that's probably gonna fit me a lot better, you know? So yeah, great pair of shorts, really excited for these. Even like the cut of the back of them is sick. Insane, really stoked to try those out. All right, you guys are creeping up on the end of the products. I know it's a long video, but I'm happy that you guys bared with me through this one. This is some pieces from the paid programming uh, collection by Grimy. Uh, this is a, the homies brands. Uh, if you guys know my boys, Jaden and Davian, they're both rappers. They're under the collective 999 section, which is a bunch of artists that are out in the city of Montreal that I support. I do like a lot of styling work with them, just hang out with them. Homies since like high school, you know, so I always support what they do. They have a homie Thomas. He has his own brand. That's a streetwear brand called Grimy. And that's kind of the conglomerate, like an overarching umbrella that just covers a lot of things. They do like work with venues, etc., cetera, uh, pop-up shops, clothing, you name it, they do it. Um, and they're doing a pop-up shop right now for Miro Festival. And Thomas was nice enough to give me a piece from the new collection. And this piece was sick because it reminded me of that one Dior collection where they have the riot or the, the mosh pit on like the pants and that trucker jacket. I know exactly, you guys know exactly what piece I'm referring to. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank to it, but super sick pair of shorts. They're all mesh of course, but yeah, it's like a, a mosh pit. There's a colored version and a black and white. And then I decided to go for the black and white. It's just a bit more neutral for my wardrobe. But yeah, a good mesh short and got the little grimy rending right there. But yeah, super sick, insane piece. Really love this. Mesh shorts in the, in the summer when it's days like 30 degrees plus, I wear these immediately. I, I can't, I can't escape them. They're just so good. You really gotta fight the elements with pieces like that. They're the perfect thing to do so. This next piece is a corduroy hat by Sick Day. So shout out to Sick Day for sending this piece my way. If you guys know, corduroy is definitely one of my favorite materials. And I just love the construction of this hat. It's very structured. It's not too flimsy. Uh, the embroidery details are quite nice as well. Got this right here. The hue of it is kind of cool too because it's kind of like a purpley, gray and then you have the sick day branding on the back right there so yeah super nice hat definitely going to be getting a lot of wear out of this too because yeah just like kind of fits the 
identity of the last hats I've been showing you. It's just very simple, small little details in terms of graphics and maybe a material change, but simplicity is key with a good hat and a good shape, you know? There's a lot of things that go into a good hat, but this, this is definitely it, you know? So really happy with this sick day cap. They did a good job with that one. So shout out to them. Now this last one is not appropriate for the weather, okay? It's summertime, I get it. And also not exactly the type of clothing that you guys would expect me to showcase on this channel because it's obviously a lot more loud and kind of wacky. But I think in the winter, I could kind of make it look fire. Like I'm, I'm picturing it like how Lucky used to wear the Public Enemy Supreme jacket. And that's exactly how I'm picturing I would wear this one. But yeah, this is a garden party bunny bunny snow jacket it's this puffer but it has this freaking big ass bunny on it so it kind of reminds me of like that public enemy thing i just mentioned and also vetma because of like the irony of it you can also zip off the sleeves and turn it into a vest which is probably not something i would do but yeah just huge very funny very ironic huge hu huge hood as well hard to kind of showcase because of how large it is but great great jacket i'm excited to style when it comes to next fall winter uh it's just gonna be really entertaining to style that one it's like i actually i genuinely like that it's it's really really cool and beamski does an amazing job with garden party very impressive for not even just for his age just for him in general like as like there's that mu music focus element to to beam and then also to fashion. I like that duality between music and fashion. It's always been something that's very relevant in my space and obviously others. So all that to say, thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Whole bunch of pickups, like so, so many. So I hope you guys are able to bear with me for this video. Uh, make sure to like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E. -E. Make sure to keep up to date with me more frequently. I post FitPix this and that, so that's what you check out on there. Make sure to go check out that Whatnot Live show. Bookmark that. It'll be in the description box below. And let me know what your favorite piece from this whole streetwear brands you should know about video was or the brand itself that you're excited to check out or some of your streetwear brands. Hey, it's a community down there. Do what you want. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.